How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy and this is the new Nissan Micra. In fact, when you look at this car, the first thing you notice is it doesn't look like your regular Micra. They've changed the design language uh, drastically, I would like to say, because even when I share this picture online with people talking about, I've got the Micra coming, they look at the picture and, and the first thing they say is, is that the new Micra? And I'm like, yes, this is the new Micra. It looks amazing, it's more refined, it looks very snazzy, sporty and aggressive as well. Everything looks very defined, even when you look at it from the front uh, perspective. So this is a black and blue version. And just to, as a get-go, though, this is a 0.9 litre car. And that's because most people that buy Micra, they don't buy it just to like speed around town. You know, they don't think about speed. They're thinking about saving money and they're thinking about what can I get for my money? This car will set you back just under £19,000 and with this version, you get a lot inside. You've got Bose uh, speakers in the headdress, which is the first of its kind that I've seen anyway. And also you've got a nice infotainment uh, system in there which allows you to connect your phone to play music, answer and receive phone calls. You've got voice control, you've got uh, satellite navigation. When you're parking as well, there's cameras placed all around the car so you'll be able to park smoother, so you'll be able to park with confidence. It drives nicely as well. I've had this car for a week and I've been driving it around town. It's great. It's good on fuel. Uh, it handles very well. It's not the quickest on road. Again, this is 0.9 litre. What can you expect from that? But it's still a really good car to get out and about. I've been taken on the motorway and it's done good speeds. It takes a bit of a time to pick up speed, but once it picks up speed, it can be amongst those other cars on the road. Let's take a look inside the car and see what it's all about in there, as well as have a look around the car and see what's new, all the refinements, the aggressive look everything that you need to know about the new Nissan Micra. Once you're inside the car, you see the trim, like the design is, is nicer than usual what I've seen before with other Micra, the past predecessors. So you've got fabric, uh, upholstery there so everything's like your usual safety stuff like airbags and stuff but there's no leather interior here i'm not sure if you can actually pay to have that as an extra but at this stage all i can see is fabric um it's got nice stitching on there the color uh combination you can see everywhere the black and blue so you got a bit more fabric here then you got your uh sort of four leather uh interior there mixed with plastic here and there so there's a nice little combination that even for the price that you pay for this car it still feels premium uh, not the high level of premium that you'd expect in like your Audis and stuff, but it's still premium for the price you pay for it. And you get this nice infotainment sy uh, system here. Yeah, There's a five speed uh, gear stick here. Push the start. Again, push both foot down. Press the button to start the engine. Like so. Uh, you got a glove compartment there. Again, finish with like plastic, all that stuff. Um, let's turn the volume down. So here you've got a nice. Uh, screen size of a display all detailed specifications I'll leave in the description area so we don't talk much about the specifications it's just what I think of what this is about so you've got map pin system satellite navigation you've got radio you've got CD you've got DAB again all extras as well some of these things are extra so again I'll leave links to where you can find out more about this stuff um, but in general it's nice you've got this uh, D-shaped steering wheel there which means you get more leg room as you get inside and outside of the car it gives it that sporty look at the same time you've got stitch in there leather steering Nissan you've got steering wheel controls so you can control that while you're driving so you're not distracted and you've got enough leg room as well and what they've done with when you open the door and stuff is quite discreet so again it's not obvious that this is a five door car but when you get in then it feels like it's spacious it's really nice <music> As you can see here, if the driver in front has long legs, it means that I get to suffer sitting in the back. There's not enough leg room here. But if you have a shorter driver, you still get decent leg room. So on this side, for example, you can see there's a, de there's a better leg room there because whoever was sitting next to me earlier didn't have long legs. Um, on the back here, there's not much of like electronics going on here. So for example, to wind down the window, you still got the manual system. And I've got qualms with this in terms of, in this day and age, we shouldn't see this in a car at all anymore. It should just be electronic. But you still got this on the back seat. I'm not sure if you can pay as an add-on to get this as a, an electronic system. But for now, this is a manual system there. And then we'll talk more about this headrest here. On the driver's headrest, you have Bose sound system. So this is supposed to create an immersive experience for the driver. So what you have here is a speaker system on both sides. And it sort of encapsulates the sound. So it directs the sound to the driver's head. So as you got your head placed here, you'll be able to hear the sound a bit better. And again, because it's Bose, 
you expect the top level, premium level sound system here. And it sounds fantastic. The only downside here though, is that not all the time you can actually feel it when you're driving. You can't always hear the sound as intended, I'd like to say. Um, hopefully, maybe this, this is the first time um, Nissan's done this with Bose. Hopefully the next car will see something that's more, just a little bit more immersive, maybe something in the, in the roof or something, who knows. But that's that. It's, it's nice, it's a nice idea because I've always thought with sound system in cars, what's next? Let's not forget about the boot space as well. That's quite important, especially if you're going to be traveling with this thing. Boot space is quite important in the sense that the space, what space, how much space do we get? This is big enough. You can, I reckon you can place yourself, hold all bag, a couple of suitcases there, or a large, very large suitcase. You can place that in there comfortably. It doesn't end there though. You can fold the rear seat, so you can place more in the car as well. So again, what more can you ask for from a tiny little car? That's it for the new Nissan Micra. If you ask me who's this car for, I'd say if you're new to driving, you should pass your test. This is excellent. It's not too fast, it's great on fuel, it's cost effective, and it looks amazing. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, drop them below in the comments. Extra details about this will be in the description area. Make sure you subscribe as well if you like this video. And yes, follow us on Twitter or Gadgets Boy. Gadgets John behind the camera as well. Give him a shout out. And thanks for watching. Stay safe and see you in the next one.